If you don't pull over to get inspected for your boat, expect to get pulled over. Hey folks, we're getting ready to load up and go fishing. I wanna talk about a few things related to that before we get everything hooked up. We're going to a lake where I know they're gonna inspect us either on our way in or our way out. And what I mean by inspect is they're gonna to check to make sure that your boat doesn't have any invasive species, whether it's plant species like aquatic milfoil, stuff like that, zebra mussels, those kind of things. States are spending millions and millions of dollars to fight the spread of these invasive species. And the spread happens because those things are attached to your boat, to your trailer, to your prop, to your, in your live well. And so someone goes completely unaware, goes from Lake A, has something wrapped around their actual, their prop, something in their live well, uh, growing on the bottom of their boat, and then they go to a new body of water that doesn't have that problem. And now that new body of water, previously uninfected, is now infected. So I know it's a little bit of pain in the butt, but I'm gonna quickly walk through the places where you have to do this. Pretty much the whole hull of your boat. I mean, don't be afraid to grab the power washer or take it to the car wash and just <laughs> Same with your trailer. You look at the frame of your trailer, your spares, all that stuff, you can end up with some sort of aquatic species hitchhiking on any part of your trailer. So as you get back further, you get to the cross members and the frames, you got the fenders, you got the axles. There are just so many places that something can attach itself. In this Lund, I have a bait well here and I have a live well right here. When I'm at home, I leave these wide open until I know they're dry. I drain all of the water out of my live well. I don't just pull the plug. I hit the empty button and make sure that that live well is completely drained. So in the back of your boat, there are all kinds of places for things to accumulate. We got motors, lower units, we got props, we have transducers, we have intakes. You have parts of your trailer. These are places that you just, you gotta clean them and make sure that there's nothing attached here. Everywhere in my boat, I've got towels. When I leave, I'm drying everything off that I can. Uh, I'll go to a car wash every once in a while. Um, fortunately for me, I fish mostly the same small little group of reservoirs. So. I'm not traveling from one state to another with my boat. And the likelihood for me is pretty slim because I'm fishing lakes that already are considered to be free of invasive species. But if you're one of these multi-state fishermen, if you're traveling to waters uh, that have some sort of invasive species, do not transport that invasive species to other bodies of water. So there you have it, folks. When you're going fishing, just make sure that whether you're loading up or you're coming home, clean, drain, and dry. And we'll all do our part to make sure these invasive species don't mess up our waterways and don't mess up our fishing. Have fun out there.